Hey, welcome back, Quinn, another episode of Queen Reacts, and today we are getting to four more videos. That was the wrong intro, sorry. Uh, we are getting to uh, two videos from uh, formerly Brony Notion, now Sawtooth Waves. Um, yeah, I kind of still just want to call him the Brony Notion only because that's how that's as I, how much I've known him as. Uh, but if I can, I'll try to say Sawtooth, Gra uh, Sawtooth Waves, so I can't promise anything. Um, so yeah. This is going to be the first of four videos, as always, so the first one I'm going to be doing is the Changeling Conspiracy, and then finally solving Pinkie Pie. Do you think you can really do <laughs> uh, that last one? Just good luck on that. But uh, yeah, first, the Changeling Conspiracy. I'm not necessarily sure what conspiracy he's talking about, but uh, I'm going to guess something to do with Chrysalis. Uh, and something to do with after the show because you know he's pretty much free to talk about anything now that everything's done. So yeah, it's, I'm guessing this is so. I'm sorry if I seem a little stuffy. Uh, I don't know if it's my if it's my allergies or just cat hair, but kind of stuffed up a little bit. I've been sneezing a lot. I've been not sneezing as much right now, but uh, yeah, I actually might need to pause this before I start the video so I can go get a drink. But yeah. Changing conspiracy. Not sure what exactly he's gonna be talking about. Um, just something to do with changing. And there is a conspiracy to at play. So, yeah. And then the second one, finally solving Pinkie Pie. As if, <sighs> how do you know what to say about that one? Uh, it's one of the qu many questions scientists have been trying to figure out. And is he finally gonna do it? Is it's a high bar. I'm not gonna lie. You gotta, you gotta commit to a lot of stuff to try to solve Pinkie. But, yeah. So before I start this, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to get a drink. Got it. Some good old-fashioned Agua Refresh. Sponsor me. Sponsor me. Sponsor me. Take it in. Okay. I'm going to get right into this. Right now, I'm looking at a study frame that says last time. So this is going to be the changing conspiracy in three, two, one. Okay, so it's recapping on the last one he did. They could have the power to reverse a stone spell. If there aren't already changelings who can do it, they're working on it. I'm Sawtooth Ways, signing out until Friday after next. Growth. Oh. Oh, that's right. He got his turn to stone at the end. Yeah, turn to stone. Oh, and whatever that thing is, but I know what it is. It's just it worked. Our plan is finally coming together. Have, have we seen this guy before? Soon, I think we have. Accuracy. <laughs> Sawtooth, we really oh, need to, to Wolf. talk about that sign on your door. It. What in Equestria? Oh, this guy. What yeah, are okay, yeah. Changelings doing with the villain statue? No, wait. Don't tell me you're trying to free the queen. Yeah, That's the only one you need to free. What made you think this was a good idea? Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't my idea. You can thank Sawtooth for that. <laughs> Seriously, you had to test that out on me and in the face? We have bigger problems right now. Sawtooth? You've been an unreformed changeling this whole time? What? Oh, oh no, I'm reformed. Yeah, Doc. Don't wow. you remember when Sawtooth and I had this huge fight about whether Sketchy should reform? I think I recall that. Not sure, though. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> right. Never mind. What matters is we share a common goal now. That makes even less sense. Why would a reform changeling want to bring Chrysalis back? Not just the queen, the other two as well. It's a long um, story. Um, wait. Really, it was just the okay, maybe T-Rex, but not, not, I... not the little demon spawn right there, no. Okay, I have serious doubts you actually thought this all the way through, but just for the sake of argument, do explain. With pleasure, allow me to demonstrate my stone prison ethical outcome matrix. Okay. <laughs> Look at it this way. Would the stone spell last forever on its own, or would it eventually wear off? It's hard to say. This was the combined power of the royal sisters along with discord rather than the elements of harmony. We can't know for sure, but one or the other must be true. Now, are they awake? Possibly. A discord demonstrated some level of awareness, but he's discord. 
So who knows if the other villains here could? It's also unknown, but they're either conscious or unconscious, which gives us two times two is four possibilities. Say the spell lasts forever and they're fully asleep. This would mean casting them to stone was no different than killing them, and one of them right. was a literal child. Now, if the spell lasts forever and they're awake, that would mean total and eternal paralysis, which I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Neither would I. But what if the spell is temporary? It would be like imprisonment in Tartarus. Maybe it'd just be 50% uh, longer because there was three parties instead of two last time. Then again, it was the element of harmony, so who knows? But if they are awake, it's a good thing we are acting now, so things don't have more time to fester. The longer they are in there, the harder they'll be to calm down. That plus, if we don't do this, someone else with bad intentions just might. I suppose I can understand why you're doing this. But, but no. I seriously doubt you've thought this all the way through. Why not get the princess yeah, it's, and the guards involved? It's like season 6 finale. Job for 7. Them, season 7 finale. Band of changeling buddies. Believe me, I tried the law. Shadow play, them. that's what it's but called. No, I think those three have caused enough trouble already. That meeting did not go as planned. So I recruited right. a and Y and pulled a national treasure. Oh, what? The Nicolas Cage movie? No. Nope. Cage's character warns the government that someone's <laughs> gonna steal the Declaration of Independence, but they don't take him seriously, so he takes things into his own hands and steals it before the other guy can. We pull the national treasure. As the first, you merely think in a quote from Nicolas Cage. The villains, I'd rather be a group of changelings that mean well than a group of changelings That's that from don't. That's from Helsinger nice Bridge. The princess on our side, but that train has left the station. I suppose that makes some amount of sense. I don't agree with you, but I understand the argument. But now that begs the question, exactly how did you manage to steal the statue in the first place? That was the fun part. Once they moved the statue to Canterlot Garden, Sawtooth, Countess Rose, and I devised a plan to steal the statue and replace it with a fake. Countess Rose was involved with this too? Yeah. She... I think I know who that is. Uh, oh. Guys? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> Am I done here? No. Next, we focus on how we'd free them from stone. At first, we tried to get a cockatrice to do it for us. He either didn't have enough power or was too stubborn to try. He couldn't really tell. Talk to Silverstream, show. But that's when I had Chelsea to get out. Talisman and Mirage. Sure, it involved get it. infiltrating the school of friendship. And, and what even is that? Fact, but surprisingly, that was one of the easier parts of all this. Oh, hey, Starlight, I need this for Changeling History wow. Day. What's your Hi, way? Steve. <laughs> out, I have a pretty good Thorax impression. We have changelings. Yeah, that was pretty good. A pretty good everything impression. But yeah, once we've got the palace, well, I figured out how to use it. Which is when he turned me to stone and tested it out. And it. I worked. turned to stone. So, without further ado. Hold on! I'm not particularly worried here because, again, you really haven't thought this all the way through, but please humor me here. What? Exactly, were you going to do next? Also, do the references to plan on how was it Meet the Robinsons? Is that what it's called? Free. Something the Robinsons. Or, not stupid. How to reform each? I think it's Meet. Detailed guide written by the Robinsons. I am surprised Twilight doesn't like you more. I'm not. Should I read the plan? It'll take about five minutes, but I'm sure you'll find it very no, interesting. No, 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 no. That's not necessary. Just take my word for it. You definitely thought it through. If you say so. Without further ado. Here goes nothing. So is this gonna work? Huh? Nope. If you're reading this, you just cast a spell on an actual stone carving. You really think we'd keep Equestria's most wanted in plain sight? Guess you aren't as clever as you thought. Oh, I see. Told you oh, you Twilight did it. Okay. Where's the real statue then? <laughs> That's the thing. Okay. Anywhere in Equestria by now. It's in Discord's neighborhood. Where else? We should probably go get Countess Rose. Definitely. Yeah, we probably should do that.
Well, that didn't Damn. What do you think of my reasoning? Do you think the villain should be released? Twilight, one step ahead of you. And if you want to support this channel financially, check out my reward tiers at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons. Cameo Shadowness, Doctor Who, Darth Silar, Doctor Who, Z H, Equinox. Nah, I'm not gonna get him. It's behind my uh, graduation cap, and I don't want to move all that stuff right now. Skunk Bunk and all the people who. But I got the uh, fourth dimension Doctor Who's plush. The nameless one, Cyanax, Yoshi, Dark Lord, Namink, and Fairfallen. Thank you so much. You helped make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Waves signing out. Signing out till Friday after next. Bro Who. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Alright, so that was a pretty fun video. I'll wait for the uh, crunch to be open. To over. To be over. Okay. Alright, so that was a pretty fun one. Um, yeah, this... So it's not... It was more of a collaboration uh, project than an actual theory video, though there was that there was the question on how, what the effects of the uh, stone imprisonment uh, the stone imprisonment would be. I'm saying that right, correct? Imprisonment, imprisonment. Okay, imprisonment. Need the end in there. All right, but uh, yeah. So there wasn't much to talk about as a theory, but it was actually very entertaining with to have all the guest stars. You got uh, Doctor Wolf. Uh, it was A and Y. I think the other guy was, and I forget the. I forgot the name of the, uh, of the person being, being the statue. My sister's music is very loud. Compressed pop auto-tune. Okay. But, uh, yeah. He had some interesting points on it, but I think most of the video was just meant to be that, uh, that little storyline that they have. Trying to bring the, uh, trying to bring Queen, trying to bring Queen Christmas back. Which, if you were to, if you're to save, well, actually, I guess they're saving all three. But if you're gonna save uh, uh, one of them, yeah, Chrissy's the one to go. Or the one to stay. I don't know. Be reformed, or not even reformed. Uh, if you could try, try. But you know what? Who knows? Nothing's gonna happen now. Cause Twilight was one step ahead, you guys. All right, finally solving, finally solving Pinkie Pie. We're gonna get this in three, two, one. Pinkie Pie has been one of the most confusing creatures in Equestria for really? as long as I can remember. She seems to break the laws of physics on the regular, pulling party cannons uh, out of thin air, teleporting. She even has strange knowledge I guess from nine other years, worlds. But, you know. but that's just Pinky being Pinky, right? You can't explain it. Or don't can explain you? it. I may have that's what this video's gonna be, isn't it? Pinkie Pie. I Recently, got, I've been talking a lot be about the villains who were turned to stone, and I definitely have more to say, specifically about reforming them. But let's take a break from that topic, shall we? Turning them to stone was a pretty significant event, but just moments before, something crazier happened. It started chocolate raining, but it wasn't Discord this time. Oh no. Pinky, that mad mare, had absorbed Discord's chaos magic from Grogar's bell. It was wild. Fortunately, Discord was able to get his magic back before Pinky turned the cosmos into frosting. But the effects of that one moment may have had farther reaching consequences on Pinkie Pie than we thought. My theory goes like this. When Pinky took in all of Discord's magic, it infused her entire timeline with that chaos. Being too much to contain in a single moment, the magic spread out across Discord her in the whole life, stretching indefinitely into her future and into the past when she was a filly. Her very essence was infused with chaos magic. That is why she is the way she is, always pulling physically impossible gags like Discord would. Think about it. Pinky and Discord have always been I think you're reaching on this one. <laughs> energies feel connected somehow, seeming to follow the same rules, or lack thereof. The own. rules. Plus, they both do that thing where they stare off into space as if someone were there watching them. It's fourth wall commentary, a, a comedy Is stuff. watching me? Anyway, it's possible yes. these two are so similar because the same magic is flowing through them. That may sound far-fetched, but we can it, prove I that Pinky has magic in a sense that other Earth ponies just don't. When the student six broke Cozy Glow's spell and all that missing magic was returned, something bizarre but almost unnoticeable happened. Obviously, the ones with horns got magic, but so did Pinkie Pie. And it's not like they all got magic back. The other Earth pony and the Pegasi didn't. Just the unicorn, oh. the alicorn, and Pinkie Pie. 
this strangely specific detail has to mean something. Maybe that there's a magical element That's to her crazy actually. abilities. And I think she may have gotten this magic on the fateful day she absorbed the whole of Discord's chaos. It is a little hard to wrap your head around, though. An event in the future affecting the past? We already know magic can extend through time, but how can we connect this concept to Pinkie Pie? If only we had evidence that some part of her isn't bound to time. Like if she had some sort of ability to interact right. with the future. Some kind of sense of... Oh wait, Pinkie sense. And also that, that could also... That uh, some part of her is connected to a her, different point in time. Uh, this lends credibility like to the idea that she got her powers from a single event memory. that affected her whole timeline. Even though Twilight gave up on Except trying to she wants to forget sense, things. I hope she can look back, connect the same dots, wow. and finally have a satisfying answer. Pinky containing chaos magic would certainly explain, well, everything. But the theory is not without its problems. For example, okay. Cozy Glow also absorbed Discord's magic, and while it did a number on her for a minute, there were no other evident effects. Though this could just be a testament on how different beings react to chaos magic, or the different circumstances under which they wield it. We can't exactly expect raw chaos to follow an ordered pattern. Or maybe I'm wrong, and Pinky is truly just Pinky, regardless of the craziness she experienced. What do you guys think? Did Pinky get her weird powers from this I think you're reaching on this one. <laughs> or why not? Leave your thoughts in the comments, but, uh... if you want to support this channel financially, check out my reward tiers at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier this. patrons. Maximilian HG, Cyanax, Skunkbunk, Houndflash, DH, Mungo Jerry, The Nameless One, Paco Taco, Darth Silar 12, Cameo Shadowness, Yoshi Dark Lord, Dr. Hooves, Fairfallen, Namink, and Equinox 3141. You guys 15. help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Waves signing out until Friday after next. Bro who? Okay. All right. So. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, th I think this one might just be uh, reaching a little bit. Mainly because like that was the second to last episode of the show, and we, there was nothing ever to really talk about at the end uh, to show any change for whether it was the past or the future. But I don't think Pinky absorbing chaos magic at some in the at some point in her life would affect from before. I don't think that would be the case. Um, unless there was a loophole in, in regarding time travel and stuff like that. Which I don't think so. I think it was just... Uh, I don't know. Just It was just meant to be fourth wall breaking commentary. Though he, I, get, I, I did like that he pointed out uh, Pinky got magic uh, when the other when the other non-unicorns one didn't unicorns didn't get magic. That was actually a very... Uh, A very interesting catch right there. So yeah, that might that that one might mean something. So maybe she does have magic. Uh, maybe not chaos magic. I don't know. Maybe she does have chaos magic. I just don't think it has anything to do with the bell. Uh, but yeah, I like the idea, but I don't think there is that much to it apart from maybe maybe what I just mentioned there. So yeah. But overall, pretty good couple of videos right here. Now I'm gonna be de I'm, because I have a, a good schedule going on. Um, I can get into shorter videos, and uh, yeah. So mostly I usually do like three or four videos of burning of the uh, burning ocean sawtooth waves. But yeah, here I just I just did two because that was all that was left. Like he had two videos that he came out since the last one I did. So, yeah, and by the time I get to that again, I think uh, we'll have that to cover, too. Alright, so, yeah, nothing else to say, so I'm, I hope you enjoy the commentary. God bless, stay safe, have a nice day, and as always, goodbye.